For this video, I am designing this t-shirt up in the right hand corner and I'm doing so on my brother's scanning cut. First, I'm going to show you how to do these letters as one group and then edit them. The only drawback of doing it this way is it limits your editing abilities. Now when I'm enlarging the letters, when I press the plus sign, you can see that both the width and height go up. So if you press that bottom button with the arrows, you can just adjust the height or the width. If you need to add more letters, words, or graphics to your design, it's very simple. Push that add button and it'll take you back to that main screen. Now I'm going to delete that first grouping and show you a different way to do the letters. I'm adding each letter individually, that way I can space them out as little or as much as I want to. Now I'm going to space out each letter and I always start at the end and I do more, like I'm going to space it out five times and then the next letter I'll space out four times and then three times and then two times. And that usually gets me right about where I want. If you enlarge it, you can tell really how far apart those letters are. I'm going to group these letters together, that way I can edit them as one whole design instead of individually. For this design, I want the width to be right at 11 and the height to be right at 4 inches. When using heat transfer vinyl, you always want to reverse the image. This is just to kind of show me where my image is going to be at on the shirt and how far down I need to place it. I usually go about three to three and a half inches below the lowest point of the collar. You always want to place your heat transfer vinyl shiny side down and the dull side up. I'm making two t-shirts. I could have duplicated the image and just cut them out all at once, but I'm going to show you how I can just move it down and cut it. I know that it's four inches in height, so I'm going to go down to the fifth line. That's why I'm counting there and to make sure there's enough space when I cut the second image out. I always save my images just in case somebody else wants this design, that way I can just pull it back up. But if you have grouped together an image and you save it, you cannot ungroup it. So you always want to ungroup it and then save it. As you can see, I set the blade just a little too high. That's why it cut through that top shiny surface. So I just needed to adjust the blade just a little bit. Now for my not so favorite part, I need to weed the vinyl and I'm just using a seam ripper. I always start at one corner and then work my way down and out at kind of an angle. Thank you. 
It's important to get every little speck of vinyl that you don't want on the image. Now I'm going to lay my shirt out on my heat press. You can't tell, but this heat press has been heating up and it's completely hot. So just think of it as an open oven in your room. It heats up the entire room just like you had your oven door open. And that plate right above my arms is scorching hot. So you have to be so careful when using a heat press. And then I try to lay out the t-shirt and measure the arms, measure the bottom, try to make sure I have the collar centered. And I mean, they're never perfect, but I try to get it as straight as possible. I always heat press the shirt before I apply the vinyl to it. Now, when you put down your vinyl image, make sure that it's about three, three and a half inches down from the bottom of the collar. And then just try to make sure that each side is the same width from the sleeve and just try to get it as straight as possible. I put my yardstick on it and just try to level it as, as much as I can. If you're using a heat press, make sure you have a Teflon sheet. If you're using an iron, you can use parchment paper or an old pillowcase. After I peel the backing off, I go ahead and heat press it one more time. Okay, I'm finished with one t-shirt. I am not going to tell you what that image stands for because uh, it's pretty crude. And if you're not an LSU fan, you probably don't know what it means and don't care anyway. Thanks for watching. Please share. Please subscribe. I appreciate any comments and feedback.